Stop. Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> we're still gathering information. Seems like he had no criminal background. I don't know of any system that could have picked this guy up. Um, so at the end of the day, I'm open-minded about talking with my colleagues. Um, apparently, there's a law in the books that if you buy more than one handgun in a single week, it's reported that ATF and the FBI, Mark Kelly mentioned that to me. I, I wouldn't be opposed to including long guns in that if it made some sense. I just, I don't, I don't know what the, the solution is to this particular problem, but maybe there's some things we can do. Senator, do you think assault rifles are necessary for Americans to own? Well, you know, I own one, and I've never hurt anybody with it. I, I'm a, you know, retired military guy. You know, the First Amendment, I don't know what books you should read or what movies you go to. I mean, all I can say is that um, the Second Amendment is part of our Constitution, and banning a particular set of guns would be you know, if Democrats want to impose the assault weapons ban again, bring it up and let's vote. Senator, Can uh, just uh, very quickly, Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, as you know, has put two background um, check bills uh, on the calendar, including closing the Charleston loophole. Is that something you'd be willing to support? Yeah, the Charleston loophole wasn't a loophole. It went to the wrong county. Um, so I'm very familiar with that case. Uh, I'm talking with Senator Blumenthal about maybe uh, helping states that have red flag laws with the grant program to maybe beef up their ability to stop some of this stuff. So it seems to me that there is defense in depth concept here. Can you keep guns out of the hands of people clearly mentally disturbed? New York has a uh, red flag law. I don't know how that guy in Buffalo got through the system, but you know, we can always make things better. But it seems to me there's, there would be a lot of Republican support for beefing up security. So one quick idea, ROTC instructors in high schools are retired military members uh, who uh, the service pays part of their salary, the school district pays the other part. Maybe we take that concept and expand it to school, school security where the federal government could help put some money into the, into the pod and maybe draw upon retired law enforcement officers, military folks that could enhance school security. Senator, Senator, the New York Senator, Times Senator, just the New York Times just reported that President Trump on January 6 was pleased with the hang Mike Pence chance. It didn't. Any thoughts on that? Yeah, I don't take Senator, the on, New York Times for what it's worth. Senator on gun reform, can you assure the American people that this time something will get done? I can't assure the American people there's any law we can pass to stop this shooting. This man had no criminal record. He shot his grandmother in the face. He uh, lawfully purchased a gun. Um, I don't know how, I can't tell people that I can't think of a law that would have stopped this particular shooting. Are there other things we can do? Yeah, Let, let's see if we can. Senator, why do you think that this country is the only country in the world that constantly has mass shootings like this and, and elementary school shootings? Yeah, well, we've had, you know, one's too many. Um, I don't have, you know, I don't have the answers to all these. I don't know why anybody would shoot their grandmother in their face, in, in her face, get in a car and go to a school and kill a bunch of kids. I don't know. I, that is beyond my ability to understand. What can I do as a lawmaker? Put cops so that when you try to go into school, shoot kids, you get shot. That seems to be one thing we can do. How do you keep guns? They, they were it there. Work. They I mean, were. It didn't work. At that school, that gunman had body armor on. How was a law enforcement official, well, even nobody, if you put more in schools, able to confront that? I mean, the game has changed, no, Senator. Apparently, he walked in the school without anybody uh, stopping him. How did he get in the school? Where was the law enforcement officer to protect entry to the school? So these are the questions I'd like to do ask. Do you think we have too many guns in this country? I think we have plenty of laws on the books about law owning guns. We have red flag laws throughout the nation. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But here's what I said to my Democrat colleagues. If you think we have too many guns, less debate. You know, Beto O'Rourke, you know, he had a lot to say today. He wanted to confiscate, you know, AR-15s, you know, have the government buy them back. I own one. Bring it up. Let's vote. Senator, Senator, Senator Thank you, Senator. Senator, ETF funding.